Let me start a replacement on a Mark IV um, Golf or Jetta. This one's a Golf. It's actually a City Golf 2007. But uh, I don't like, don't like seeing 2007 Golf because people will assume it's a newer style. Pretty much everything can be done from under the vehicle. It will help to take the tire off, so we're going to take the tire off, uh, or the driver's side tire. Standard or automatic uh, starter is in the same location, and that's why I like Volkswagens. Uh, you know, they make things really nice and easy, and they keep things consistent. Same location, dating back to the second generation, first generation of the A, A platform, the Mark platform, Mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, I think 5 is pretty much the same, it m might be a little bit different, but pretty much the same, um, so yeah, here's the starter, standard transmission, just going to remove some stuff, actually I might leave the wheel in place, no, I'm going to move it, I like to look across here, through this, through this way. <coughs> see better you want to take off the uh, fender liner this one's popped out so we're gonna this one's popped out so we're gonna fix that as well just a plastic retainer that, that pops into place Should be enough. I just use a bungee cord to hold it over. Okay, so there's a starter. There's a couple of bolts that we're going to get to next. A couple of nuts, I should say. <coughs> Try to keep track of your nuts. This is a power steering bracket. You just move that aside. And you disconnect your starter trigger. Squeeze and pull. If you didn't disconnect the battery, you got to be careful with this main battery connection at, at the starter. There's a plastic cover that needs to come off first. You just pry it off. Just sits on the starter like this. And a 13 millimeter, and be sure not to touch anything that's metal with your wrench. Carefully crack it loose. Once it's loose, you can use your hand. And yes, I'm out of gloves right now. That's why I'm not wearing any. Then you just get yourself some radiator hose push it over the metal clamp here and then you can tuck it aside and you won't be able to touch it or short anything okay and on the upper one here the nut we, re we removed holds this uh, loom bracket you just move it out of the way that exposes the upper starter mounting bolt and then the lower one is down here, and they should both be, I think, 18. I'll just crack them loose with my big wrench, my big ratchet. These are long bolts. See how long they are. The upper one, just maneuver the starter up then. This 
is a stubby starter. It doesn't have the long uh, nipple that gets supported in the bushing. Um, if yours has a long one, there's no problem putting it in a stubby. Uh, this is supported in here. There's a, there's a bearing in here that supports the shaft as the shaft comes out. Uh, or, or may not be a bearing, it may just be a bushing. Uh, but anyways, the starter pops out like this and you can see it's nicely supported. Uh, on the older Bendix style, if you pull the, pull the gear out, there's actually a movement and that movement is what causes starter drag uh, when the bushing wears out. Uh, so this is the starter pinion here or the shaft and it sits in that side the bushing. When the, sh when the bushing wears out, it moves up and down and that creates sloppage um, and play. And then as that shaft is, uh, as the starter is turning and is, is moving, it'll actually make contact inside and it slows down and can actually uh, cause starter to drag. So that's it starter removal installation is in a reverse of uh, removal anti-seize on all the bolts and fittings uh, I like to put some on the starter threads here as well just to make life easier next time you have to go in there that's it questions comments in the uh, uh, comment section below otherwise also clean up the area here a little bit with sandpaper I would start with a bit of 80 grid 80 grit, which is a little bit coarse, just to cut through the um, the corrosion that might be there, and then I use emery cloth and a sanding block to go over it and make it smooth, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and you can see this the old hole here for the bushing for the earlier style starter. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, fairly straightforward, nice and easy. Um, thanks for watching. So this plastic retainer, there's a hole here, you just stick it in the hole and then, and then the screw will sort of wedge the plastic apart and it should stay tight. The reason it came out is obviously it can only hold so so much, so obviously this got, most likely got snagged on something which applied pressure on this and pulled it out. Good enough.